Hey Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your November 2019 reading for all Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. How are you guys? I hope that October full moon treated you well and you were able to maybe leave behind some old patterns of behavior, start some new cycles up. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and you'll get my new videos. I do a weekly reading for all the signs, actually, you get your own individual sign, but I do it categorized under the element. So if you see earth sign, just go ahead and check on it and you can fast forward to Virgo so you don't have to hear Taurus and Capricorn if they're not part of your chart. So hope all is well with you and let's see what's going on for Virgo, November 2019. It's kind of a rainy, cold day where I live. It's a perfect day for a Virgo. You can get your closets organized there start hauling shit out and getting rid of stuff you don't need in fact if you want to come over and do mine i will have you do it so anyway virgo hope you're having a good day here too um all right let's see virgo november 2019 for virgo sun moon rising and venus signs all right let's see what we've got going on here all right, okay, lovers in the middle here, Gemini, five of wands, seven of swords, yikes, devil, oh man, what the hell, oh God, Virgo, and the moon, this is going to be interesting, if you're somebody that's coming out of a shit storm, this is for you, and you are going to be walking away from it, and getting onto higher ground for sure, but I like the direction, I'm sure glad it started that way. That's interesting that I said you're going to be moving on because here is a card that's about moving on. So interesting that that would be the end outcome card for you. So, um, yeah, so I see to the bottom of the deck, you've got the four of pentacles. So in your reading, you have air, you have Pisces, Gemini, Capricorn. Um, you've got water, fire, and you do have some earth. So... Um, you have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five major arcana here too. Um, so if you've been holding on to a situation, you are definitely going to be breaking free of that. Um, so you got in the middle lovers with the five of wands here. Um, that's the current energy or what's, what's at the heart of the matter. And five is an ending of a cycle. Um, so, or excuse me, it's actually change. Five is change. So certainly could be with a soulmate energy and there's change could be leaving conflict behind if there's if you're coming out of something where you've had some dishonesty in the relationship that could also be change that somebody is going to um either be exposed or they're going to come clean about something because you have so the underlying influence and then kind of the overarching influence here are the moon and the seven of swords and so to me, what I'm hearing is that it's it's not hidden emotion. It's somebody who's going to get either going to admit some stuff. So if this has been driving you nuts and you're you're thinking, I know this person has been doing me dirty here, that is going to come to light for sure. No doubt about that. I do see some codependence in the relationship. And that's very common. When you're dealing with like a narcissist or somebody who is just a compulsive liar, and you love that person, and I know that sounds crazy to some people, like, why would you love a compulsive liar? But you get sucked in, you don't realize it until you're in so far, and you want to fix the situation. And so you start doing things to try to manipulate the person's mood, but you're doing nice things. You're taking care of the person and going and putting in a lot of effort, and it just is exhausting because they it's never-ending. You're never going to get out of that, trying to uplift someone who needs that much from you. So you are definitely going to be breaking free of that. Um, now, I do see what's coming towards you. This could be at work, too. If you've had somebody that's really been sucking you down financially, that is going to be coming to an end, too. Um, and you're going to have a lot of partnership stability. Could be some kind of a project at work, but definitely the money will be more stable this month. So if you've had even like some unexpected bills due to this situation, you are going to be coming more stable for sure. Um, 
And here's you. See, this is what I what I actually do like about this with the Eight of Cups is you're turning your back on something. So if you've had, like I said, somebody who's just a pathological liar, you're going to have the strength to just get out of it and say, you know what, I'm done with this. I deserve better than this. And what I really see too, I mean, you've got this, this is also earth energy with the high priestess or Taurus, but um, strong earth influence. The high priestess cannot be fooled. Um, so it could, could potentially be, because this is actually the other person, could potentially be you. I hate to say that, but if you know you've been doing something wrong here, um, you may come clean and both mutually decide this is just not the right situation for us. Um, could be too, you know, oh, oh yeah, the, um, I forgot this too, the blue moon, there's a blue moon in this. And it's like secrets being revealed and with the moon card here too, I guess that's what I'm getting. There's secrets that are going to be revealed here. And I don't, I hate to tell you this, I don't think you're going to like it. I just don't. I think it's going to be you walking away. So even if this is the other person, I still think it's you that's going to turn your back. And kind of your hopes here with the hanged man is getting some peace of mind. So if you've been really anxious and worried about something and trying to figure it out, you're going to take some time to invest in yourself, maybe take a little, you know, Retreat somewhere and just kind of get away from it all and and slow the momentum down um, It's a very spiritual card. There's stillness here. So if you've had um, If you've had a lot of chaos around you, this will be a wonderful reprieve for for you And like I said, I mean, it's like you're gonna be gaining a new perspective and that perspective is going to guide you in the right direction. It's going to lead you away from something that hasn't been serving you. Now, the Six of Swords is can also be a travel card. And I know for me, one time I went to Sedona, Arizona, I went through a really um, traumatic experience. And I thought, you know, I need to get out of here for a little bit. And I don't, I just kind of picked... Um, I, I went into Scottsdale and kind of did my thing there and then I drove up to Sedona and I sat on a rock and meditated and I was, um, at the time I was listening to a lot of Eckhart Tolle and starting to really understand that connection between our source energy and, and who we are and our personality and our ego. And so for me at this time, this would have been a perfect representation of that experience. So this is really moving you in a positive direction because we're here for a purpose and that purpose is not to struggle, Virgo. That purpose is to find joy, to find pleasure in the journey and that's really what it's all about. It's not about the outcome, it really is about day by day in the journey and getting yourself into a place where you're basically living unconditionally, which can be difficult, trust me. Some days I feel like I'm completely there and other days I Feel like I'm very dependent on things around me or I'm reactive to them so um, sometimes with the six of swords it can be moving on but taking baggage with you but what I like about the hanged man is this is somebody who's investing in themselves and when you invest in yourself you're not going to be taking baggage with you um, now I mentioned earlier you have the four of pentacles too and this is somebody who's got their heart blocked this is somebody who um, is really guarded and I think with some of these other cards if you've been burned It's okay to take a little bit of a reprieve for yourself and kind of put Humpty Dumpty back together again And get yourself back to that higher vibrational state um, You know, so I, I think all is well here, but it's just been a difficult journey for somebody here but this is your Louise Hay life loves you affirmation card for this this month and i love louise hay she wrote a great book called you can heal your life and it's a wonderful book of processes to raise your vibration to heal especially if you've had abuse ever in your life or relationships that were abusive or childhood um dysfunction and abuse it's a wonderful book to move you away from that because as an adult you don't want that hanging around with you so I am sustained by love
Whatever you do, wherever you go, whoever you are with, let yourself be guided by the loving hand of the universe. Wow, I love that for you, and especially with this uni um, this um, reading here. I do kind of a thing, it's called segment intending, and you can do it all throughout your day. And basically, what you do is look at every day or every part of your day as a new segment. So when you're getting ready in the morning, that's one segment, and let's say it's really chaotic. As soon as you get in your car, that's a new segment. And all you have to do, you don't have to say it all out loud, you can say in your mind, no matter where I am going, no matter who I am with, no matter what I am doing, I plan to have, deliberately plan to intend to have this next segment be aligned with source energy. Um, so no matter who I am with, no matter where I am going, I do plan to have fun throughout the day. So I can let go of those segments that maybe didn't go in a way that I would have wanted them to. Um, so anyway, Virgo, I hope you have a great rest of the month and are moving to higher ground. And I love you. And subscribe if you want to see your weekly reading. That'll be coming up next weekend um, for that first week of November.